Can you hear me? Lauren? Yeah, can you hear me? Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Hi. Oh, I'm taking my boots off. How was everything like? Did you tell them about your uncle? I did. What'd they say? Oh, fucking more. I thought about more. Started fucking crying again. Fucking hey. I hate going. I hate it when I that all. So hard to deal with. Knowing that, realizing that not as many people were paying attention to him as what I thought bothers me. I went to ACG Roswell. I went to um, Billy Appraisal on his paintings today. And we got, we got three art, and I did an appraisal on one I had, too. I got mine for a dollar at the yard sale, and that's what it's worth, is a dollar. <laughs> Where did you get it appraised? At an auction place. So they How much a, do they charge for that? Nothing, it's free. Oh. And I, I praise the painting that he has, Howard Hughes, and what he said, the guy that gave it to him, um, got it from Howard Hughes, one of Howard Hughes' houses in California. Because he was moving stuff out of Howard Hughes' house, one of his houses. And he got that painting. And he gave it to Uncle Rich. And the lady said that it was, um, that it was worth less than 500 Unless we get the history on it. And it shows that it was in one of Howard Hughes' houses. Then it would be, be worth a lot more, especially to, to those that like Howard Hughes stuff. And then I, the old radio that he has, he said that's worth about two hundred dollars. And um, I went uh, after class. I went to place to try to sell his, all of his old records and they didn't buy them but they told me a place down the road that does buy them that does buy old records like that so tomorrow I gotta go there and sell those old records to see how much they'll can you hear me? yeah what happened? it's, it's a crazy night uh, go ahead um, uh, anyway, that, that's, I gotta take his records in tomorrow. See if I can sell them there. Wait, you're doing what? <laughs> his old records. I gotta take them into a place tomorrow and see if I can sell them. Where are you taking them? A place called Record Connection. And the guy is, the place that I went tonight. <clears throat> They started looking out, look it up and see what time they're open for me and they didn't even say what time they were open and what time they were closed. So I gotta figure that out. <clears throat> but what's happening with you? What's your crisis? Oh no, it's not a cr well, I don't have the crisis. <laughs> the neighbor has the crisis. Oh. He's gonna be staying here for a while because he has a he has a leak in his roof, or not in his roof, but in his ceiling. From above him, it's leaking into his apartment, and it got all over his bed and everything. And so, I I you told him, you can't sleep on his couch. I told him he's going to probably have to. Um, he's probably going to have to get a, a new bed because it's like going to mold. I mean, how come he can't sleep on his couch? Do you have a couch? Well, I have a pull-out couch, so he, he can sleep on my pull-out couch. Which is that, which turns into a bed, so he'll have a bed. <laughs> okay, Lauren? Yeah. It was a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, the doctor's back at his house, although you wouldn't know it because he lives in this building. Hang out with Brown. He hangs out with me a little bit, but he hangs out with Brown. 
Huh? I said he hangs out with me a little bit, but mostly he hangs out with Grum. Why? Yeah, here we go again. Really, Lord? Really? That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah. I'm, how much did he hit on you? Oh, God, we're back to that. Well, of course we are. He's hanging out with you again. Or he never stopped hanging out with me. I mean, I don't, I just don't talk about him. I mean, he's. He comes over there when, uh, when you're alone and hangs out with you. Alone. Lauren, no, I never said that. That's you saying that. Lauren, I, I don't That's understand. That's the way I took it. No, uh, Lauren. Seriously. That's the way it sounds. Lauren, 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 Lauren. Does he still hit on you? I don't know. Does Michelle Simpson still hit on you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. How much does he hit on you now? Lauren, first of all, there's something else. I heard a, I heard the call with you and that girl, Michelle, that you said that never happened. You said it was just a few text messages. I heard an actual call, and I'm about to play it because what I heard I don't, was... I don't, I don't talk to anybody like you. But, okay, but you had a call where you were talking about putting – your hot dog in her taco or something like that, like, and you were talking about you not wanting to have sex with her when she was on her period and all this, all this stuff. You tried to set up a meeting for that. Because before it was just strong speculation that I had. I had a strong speculation that that's what you were doing. And and I and I thought it was maybe text messages that you had sent where you were talking about meeting someone for sex, but I heard a definitive call this afternoon. This afternoon. Yeah. And I haven't I haven't talked to anybody about you. Okay, okay, Lauren. Nobody, see, nobody knows my number but you. Okay, Lauren, here's the thing. Hey, Lauren, here's the thing. I think this took place in May. But uh, I didn't take place in May because I didn't have my computer in all of May. Okay, Lauren. Then when did it take place? Let's say that it took place in February. Mm. Lauren, let's say that it took place I'm in. So we if I can pass that. Lauren, I, but I heard I saw more evidence and and it corroborated and proved what I had suspected. I am past that shit. I'm not going okay. on the internet anymore. But here's the thing, you say that you are past it, but for me to hear that shows me where your mind has been. And you lied. You you lied because you said that you never had a phone conversation. I said I wasn't sure. I said I didn't believe it, but the fact is, is that no, you didn't I, have No, I told you I had a phone conversation with her. Lauren, you, you yeah, did not. You, whatever it was. Lauren, you know that was a female. But, you, but, but why do you why do you bring that up when I ask you if the doctor's been hitting on you? And you first of all, ask my I'm question not, about has the doctor been hitting on? You? First so of all, I'm first of all, I will talk about the doctor. But what I'm saying is that I found this out this afternoon. That's thing one. Thing two. There ain't you, anything else they can put on the internet about me. They don't know anything about me anymore. Okay, Lauren, th th that's real I'm nice. Not I'm not Lauren. a female shit either. Lauren, that's real nice, but but how would you feel if I if I had a sexual conversation with the doctor and you three months ago and you found out about it? Okay, that's the thing. I know. I'm sorry, but so, and, so and I told you about that. So I so I am about to play the conversation because I want I want you to hear what I heard. Oh, wow. I don't want to hear it. I want you to hear what I heard, so I'm going to play it. Let me get my thing set up. Let me find it. Because once you hear this, then we're going to talk about the doctor, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the doctor once I play this, once once this phone call, once I finish playing the Michelle Clemson call. Why do you even keep listening to that stuff on there? 
more. But let's just like I said. Well, I'd like to, I would like to know that. Uh, Lauren, I'm looking for the phone call, and once I find it, okay. and once I find it, I'll play it, and then we'll discuss the doctor. When we're a person, I'll tell you more. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I can't wait. You left yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't left yet. I still have a lot of work to do before I actually can go. How much more work you got? Oh, I've got a deadline for tonight. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try and get it done real fast, but I just wanted to hear your voice. Oh, really? Yeah. You sound so sweet. Like, really. <coughs> That sounds so sweet. Yeah. I thought I don't. I, I, well, I don't judge my own voice. Why should I know what sounds sweet? You sound sweet. Oh. You sound so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. What are you so, doing right now? I'm, I'm sitting here talking to you, watching the television. What are you wearing? Where in Bangor do you live? Pardon? Where in Bangor do you live? In Crestwood. Cedarwood. Where? Cedarwoods. Cedarwoods? I don't know. I don't know where it's in. Not that familiar with Bangor. Uh-oh. I am a little bit, but not much. But I know where I probably would be seen this. Yeah, I don't really go there. How come? I'm not a big gambler. No. You said I'm not a big gambler. Oh. Well, you must be a fairly big gambler to come to see me. Wow, that's <laughs> not a gamble at all. <laughs> when I watch your videos, I get so turned on. You're not recording. Hey, stop what I'm doing now. Uh, uh, Lauren, why? You didn't stop having a conversation. I heard the whole thing already. I don't want to know why you keep reliving it. Why I want to keep reliving it? Why did you even do it? Because I'm stupid. Not stupid anymore. Not doing that shit anymore. I certainly don't don't want to be being reminded of the stupid shit that I did. I'm trying to get past it all, past all that shit, and I'm trying to forget all the stupid shit that I did. And I'm not doing stupid shit anymore. I don't want to keep reliving it. Did you go to Dunkin' Donuts though? Because I know you went. Yeah, you went, Lauren. You went. You you. I was just gonna tell you. I was just gonna tell you. Yeah, Dunkin' Donuts down the road. Yeah, you 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 went to meet for sex when you lied and you said that you didn't. That I didn't meet her. Oh well, I didn't she, meet her. Did she show up? No. Nope. Did you get condom? Yeah, you I did. did get you did. Oh 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 oh. Okay, so so. Do you want me to lie? No, I, I don't. But but I'm I'm finding out just how dedicated you are. Oh boy, I'm my imperfections again. Oh, your imperfections, Lord. I ask you, I ask you a question, motherfucking doctor, and you start pointing out my imperfections. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 so. It's obvious, the doctor's been flirting with you. So going to hey, so. Know. So going to fuck someone at Dunkin' Donuts from the internet and buying condoms is an imperfection. So the so the condoms that you got before you went to Dunkin' Donuts to um to to meet this Michelle Simpson person, did you get them for the same reason that you got the condoms before you went to meet the thirteen year old? What kind of question is that? 
Well, I mean, did you get them because you just wanted condoms to put in your car? That's a, that's, a, that's a fucked up question. Hey, I, you told me that you, you told me that you... Well, what's up with your fucked up question? What's up with your fucked up actions? Well, my actions were fucked up. That was a fucked up question. Okay, I asked a fucked up question. You go to have sex with someone who you never even met and talked to. You were mentioning a 13-year-old is fucked up. Oh, go, going to fuck a 13-year-old is fucked up. I don't know, Lauren. I mean, what do you want me to say? The fact of the matter is, I, you told me that you got condoms before you went. years ago, and you can't let me get past that. No, no, no. You told me that you, the reason that you got condoms before you went to see her was because you like to have condoms in your truck, even though... I did. I always had condoms in my truck. I was in Nashville. I went to the bar every night. But you said you didn't have money and you were trying to pawn a camera. Yeah, that was for gas. Okay, so you're trying to pawn a camera for gas oh, money, God. but you spend $5 or more on condoms. How can I even trust you when I keep catching you in lie after lie after lie? Hey, well, what about the fucking doctor? He's hitting on you, and you what? don't tell me about it. Lauren, we're going to talk. He's hitting on you because you don't want to talk about it. Lauren, you we're going to. You keep pointing out the bad shit about me. Lauren, we're going to talk about the doctor. I never said we weren't going to, but I think you're paranoid because you feel guilty because you know I've caught you in yet another cluster of lies. You. I haven't not... lied to you uh, since then. I, I, didn't, I was wrong in doing what I did. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to keep living out time after time after time because they want to put shit on the Internet about me. I'm okay. not fucking living on the Internet anymore. Okay, I have I'm not going right. to keep going back to that, to that crap. Okay, I have the right to be upset and to get answers about your fidelity, okay? When, when I confronted you about the Michelle Simpson thing, it was because I had a gut feeling. I didn't have any hard proof or hard evidence. I just, I just, I was just very intuitive, and you confirmed my intuitiveness that. because I, because I was able to catch you lying. But you did not tell me that you got condoms and drove to Dunkin' Donuts to have sex with someone. You already knew about that. No, I did not. I did not know because yeah. Lauren, Lauren, you swore up and down that you had never gone to go meet her. You said I knew what. Just yeah. exactly. What, no, Lauren, you said I knew what she was doing. I knew what she was up to, and I didn't go meet her. That's what she said. I knew what she was up to. Okay, you know what she was up to. And I didn't go meet her. I knew what she was up to, and I went down to see if she was in, if, if I was right. <laughs> but why did you need to get condoms to prove that you were right? Why did you need to get condoms to prove that you were right? Because I was stupid. Lauren, um, and you must think I am too? No, I don't. I, I mean... You know, obviously, yeah. I don't think you're stupid. Y you must to think, okay. But there's some fucked up shit that you're asking me. Lauren, but you must think that I'm stupid if you think I'm going to believe... Okay, we're going to read you... back to fucking however long ago it was. Lauren... It was only a few weeks ago. That's thing one. Uh, it was more, a lot more than like a few weeks ago. When was I it? Had, I, I haven't had my computer since May, since the beginning of May, I think. Okay, Lauren, and the fact is, is that it still happened it in your mind. before that. Lauren, okay, so here's the thing. The fact is, is that it still happened, and you lied, and you told me that you had never went to meet her when, in fact, you did, and I just found that out today. I didn't tell you that I didn't get to meet her. You, you knew all about did. that. Lauren, you said, Lauren, you said. You knew all about her. Lauren, if I can speak, you said, and these are your words, I knew what she was up to. I wasn't going to go meet her. Those were your words. Uh, and why? Then I wound up going down to see if she did show up. And, and you needed to bring to buy condoms because if she did show up, you were going to stick your dick inside of her? I mean, come on, Lauren. Let's not pretend like like you're some saint and you were just having a chat online with someone and you were goofing off and it was a prank. 
What's going if, on with the doctor hitting on you again? As I was going to say, if a pussy had been in the parking lot, you would have felt you would have put your dick in it, okay? What's going on with the doctor hitting so on you again? We are going to discuss the doctor. We are going to discuss the doctor. We're hearing that, but we're not discussing them. We're discussing we're gonna, how, how much of an asshole I am. I'm trying to I'm not be an asshole. I'm trying to get past that stupid shit. Trying to get past it, hot Lauren. The doctor has never bought Because I haven't been doing stupid shit. Really? I haven't been doing anything. Really? They're concentrating on you. On really? me and you. Because I have drunk text messages from you that took place less than two weeks ago, or about two weeks ago. And I don't know if you realize well, well, that. I, I am straightening out. Regardless of what you fucking think, I'm straightening out. Lauren, I have drunk... I wish you'd stop pointing out so much bad shit about me all the time. Lauren, then... Okay, first of all, Lauren, you, you talk about how much you've changed and how amazing you are and all these great things that you're doing. But yet and still, I have multiple drunk messages from you from just this month. Okay, that's thing one. Thing two, I'm still catching you in lies. I'm still there catching you. Those shit you already knew about. I thought we were past I that. I did not know about it if I did. Why you, going on, why you keep going on there to see what they're saying about me? I don't fucking know. Lauren... I don't care what they're saying about me. Lauren, because, Lauren, because you are terrifying me. You are asking me to come up there in a couple of weeks, which I had no problem with. But, and, but now I'm seeing things from you that is oh, scaring me. Yeah, Lauren, I'm seeing yeah. you still get yeah. drunk. I'm seeing you get violent. I'm seeing that I'm still catching you in lies. And things are You're scaring me. You're going up and down that you finished with drinking. You had swore up and down that I, quote, knew everything that there was to know about you. And you do. Let and me ask you something. Let me, let uh, me ask you Can you, can you imagine how, how scared I am? Right. Uh, if, if we were to break up and you put uh, all the videos online about you know, with me taking a shower and shit. Lauren, let me. Can you imagine how, how scared I am? Lauren, then maybe you should think before you send random chicks new pictures. I didn't, um, Lauren, I, Lauren. I didn't see you saying, no, don't send them. Lauren, do you remember when we had a conversation where we had discussed that you were getting drunk all the time and calling me bitches, whores, sluts, pieces of shit, et cetera, et cetera, and you said that it was my fault because I didn't tell you to stop? You just said that it's my fault that you sent nude pictures to me because I didn't tell you to stop. I didn't hear you tell me stop. Now, let me let me ask you something because because Lauren, I I I, well, I, I shouldn't have. I've got yeah, I've got more control now than what I had what I had before. I'm real realizing the shit that I did wrong, shit that I can't fucking do. Okay, let shit me. Ask I don't need to do it in the, to make in order to make myself feel that. Uh, uh, feel like I'm special to someone. I realize I don't need to do that shit. If somebody can't like me the way that I am, then they don't need to like me. I don't need to send people to keep the pictures over the internet. Lauren, I, I don't need not... to you know, I don't need that bullshit. Okay, Lauren. You were different. You were completely uh, yeah. different to me. Yeah, and, and you managed to find a Michelle Simpson. I was so different that you managed to oh, find fucking Lord. But you man yeah, I, I was so different in the I am uh, the only uh, the only one that I am concentrating on is you. I'm not concentrating on anybody, anybody. Even when the women that are back here, I don't even look at them because of you, Lauren. But but the fact of the matter is that the is that since I'm still catching you in lies, your oh, words word. your words are like clowns. I mean, I can see them, I can hear them, but I can't touch them. That's perfect, though, isn't it? It's not about wanting to visit you. Or it's not about me not wanting to visit you or not laying here or anything. It's about me being concerned as to whether I'm safe. And I and and I, you know, I was thinking of something and I was wondering something. And I, I think I already know the answer because I I know you so well and I know how. And I, I like I said, I, I studied psychology. I know this so well. But I'm just curious. 
have you ever, ever put your hands on Tony while you were drunk? Have I ever put my hands on Tony when I was drunk? The fact that you've repeated it means that you have. This is how I do. I'm trying to wonder if that was what you were asking me. Sound like you said Tony. I said the word Tony. Me and Tony had put our hands on each other when we were, when we were both drunk. That was, that was only one time that we did that. That so was you, when I first got back. I was, I was, I was mad about how bad he used me, and we, we got an argument about it. I, I went to walk out the door and, and turn around and told what she was a bitch. She was running her mouth, and I told her she was a bitch, and Tony pushed me out the door and fell on the ground, and I got back up, and I pushed Tony on the ground. Okay, Tony is... <laughs> For one thing, I don't even know why you're putting your hands on someone who's disabled, because Tony is disabled. But the fact of the matter... Put his hands on me first. We've never touched each other since lady like that. We never did it before, either. So what was, what's up with that question? What's up with that question is because you drink with him. He is the one who's, who tends to be in your face. He's the one who tends to be right there when you're drinking. And I was wondering if you put your hands on someone who was around you when you're drinking. Oh, God. I mean, because he, he put his hands on me first. What about your mom? Then, Have you ever put then your then hands on her? A mom? Yes. I, mean, I don't understand how you think I'm a violent person. <laughs> well, I also think you're a comedian now. <laughs> no, I'm not a violent person. I, I, get, I get irritated when people try to, uh, try to use me, try to treat me wrong. Lord. That's the only time I get, get mad about shit. Far from a violent person. Lord, first of all, let me, let, me, let me make something clear to you, okay? This has nothing to do with our meeting in September. This has nothing to do with it. Because it's still June. We have time. And and the fact of the matter is is that if if I if I'm not like, too scared to where I run away by then, then yeah, we will be meeting in September if you save the money. But what I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you right now, is that you are presenting red flags and this and this conversation was not gonna happen until I found what I found online today. You're that's giving why them. I don't, that's why I don't want to go on now. That's but why Lauren, I don't you, go on now. I don't, Lauren, I don't even care to have my computer back. Lauren, you have continuously, apparently, given these people things to talk about because you've done so much messed up stuff. You had said something about how you had beaten Roscoe's ass or something like that, that you basically beat the hell out of Roscoe. You had said that you felt bad because you had to beat, because you had to beat Roscoe's ass for tearing up the couch and getting in the trash or something. Then beat him, beat him. I just thought I could grab the stick and started beating the hell out of him. Then he beat the hell out of him with my hand. Did you spank him? I spanked his ass. So you do hit your dog. You just said you never hit your dog. And now you're telling me. I need to stop doing this shit. That put me on the fucking spot. Lauren, how am I putting you on anything? I am asking you questions about your behavior. I don't beat my dogs. My dogs are spoiled. Well, and first of all, just because you feed your dogs, I, I'm assuming, and I, I don't have a reason to believe that oh, you don't. Like I said, I don't have a belie- reason to believe that I, you don't. I don't know where the hell that one came from but either. Because you feed your dogs and because you finally got Roscoe down to the vet for his ear mites does not mean that your dogs are spoiled. I never hear you talk about walking them. I never hear things like that. It's just me and him, me and them two, they appear all the time. Go out back with them all the time. Roscoe sleeps with me. Katie sleeps either on the couch or in her little bed in the bedroom until um, until morning comes. And she pushes Roscoe out of the way, and she winds up being sleeping right next to me. Right? She almost pushed me out of bed the other morning. My dogs are spoiled. 
don't need somebody telling me that my dogs aren't spoiled and that I abuse my dog. I've never abused dogs in my life. Lauren, putting them on a treadmill is abuse, and 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 we we discussed that, okay? Mm-hmm. Putting he gets on the on treadmill a... by himself. He okay, likes being and, on. and if he gets on the treadmill by himself, why does he need to have his leash tied to it while it's on? Well, he didn't. He didn't have. And they weren't choking. I mean, he's got a lot of extra skin on his neck. Lauren, I know what you're saying. No, you don't. Know I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna disagree with you. But I'm not going to say that I, that I was abusing it. First of all, anybody seeing that, why do you think that video got so many thumbs down? That video, uh, before you took yeah, it down. They, they put so many thumbs down on my stuff anyway just to Lauren, be asked. Lauren, they don't. That video was particularly disliked. And, I, and I'm, I'd be kind of surprised. And I made another video. Roscoe without a leash on, with Roscoe on the treadmill. It wasn't, and I weren't holding him there. Okay, so I know you say you weren't holding them, him there, but the fact of the matter is, is that if he wants to be on the treadmill, first of all, things like that are exciting to dogs. They see something spinning fast, and it's exciting to them. That's the kind he of stuff that... He likes the treadmill. I stopped the treadmill, too, and he still stayed there and waited for okay, me to dive it up again. Like I said, it's exciting to dogs, but it's not exciting for them to be hanging from it. Not exciting for Sadie. She didn't like it. I'd never tried to put her on it because she didn't like it. She's running away from it. She didn't like it. But, Lauren, the, the fact of the matter is, it, so if someone points out something like that is dangerous to your dog and bad for your dog, if you care about your dogs, you will listen to them, Okay. And nowhere on the internet will any reasonable person say that it is okay to put a dog on a treadmill by a leash. What did I do with the peanut butter? I don't know. Put it on your dick so your dog could lick it off. I have no clue what you did with peanut butter, Lauren. I used to feed him peanut butter right until I found out it was bad for him. There was something in it that was bad for him. I remember that. And you put it in a calm toy? Yes. So, so Lauren, here's the thing. So you have the ability to you have the ability to accept reason. It's just sometimes you choose not to. I don't know why, but sometimes you choose not to. You have the ability to say, okay, this is bad for the dog, so let me find another alternative. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to find reason reason in everything I do now. Not just well, I wouldn't go that far. I am. I'm trying to not just jump off the edge and do some stupid crap. It irritates me because I'm, you know, I'm trying to you know, get that in my past and not do stupid shit like that again. I don't want to keep being reminded of the stupid shit that I've done. I know the stupid shit I've done. But when I don't want you keep being reminded of it. But when you but when you make random declarations like. You know everything about me, everything You do. Lauren, please. Nobody knows as much about me as you do. Okay, now that you said that, can I finish? When you make random declarations like, you know everything about me, I've been honest with you since X, Y, and Z, since such and such a point, and all these different, and all these different magical things that you say, and then you're caught in lies. I mean, how does that look? How does it look when they, when they find out the doctor's hitting on you again? Well, like I said, we're going to talk about the doctor. And you never told me anything about it. Like I said, we're going to talk about the doctor. <laughs> Making what? grand declarations like, you know everything about me. I haven't lied to you since such and such. You are, I, you know more about me than anyone else, okay? Lauren, showing me your cornhole does not mean that I know everything about you. Showing me your shit tube does not mean that you have been completely honest with me and that you have revealed everything about yourself. How did Emma find out that you, that you were the only one that had a video of the- or had, had ever seen my asshole. 
How did who find out what? How did Emma find that out? Then I... I, thought, I think we talked about it on the call, didn't we? Didn't we talk yeah. about that? She said, she said that and she heard that, that you had a picture of uh, that you had seen my asshole and she never had and she wanted to see it. How did she find that out? Did you tell her? Oh, uh, no. I didn't tell her. I hadn't really? even talked to her. Really? Want to hear it? Because it's on the Can I Have Your Pussy Ember video. Do you want to hear it? I'll play it for I wanna, you. I want to hear that the thing. But I never said anything about my asshole. Told her to see my asshole. You did. It's on that video. I don't remember. I thought it was on... Call that yeah, we yeah, on. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Thought it was on the, I thought it was on the three-way call that we were on. Nah, no. Nah. that's Winston. I thought that was when she mentioned it. Lauren, I'm about. To, I'm looking it up right now so that I can play it for you. No, I don't want to hear it. Why? Why are you trying, I'm trying to? I'm trying to figure. I'm trying to figure out how she found out about that because I never said anything to her about it. You did, and it's you did, and I'm going to find it and play it for you. No, I don't want to hear it. I'm just playing that part. I am going to because. Because I don't appreciate you accusing me, acting like you're about to accuse me of telling her that. You said the phrase, quote, she's the only one who's ever seen my asshole. But anyway, let's talk about the doctor now. I don't remember she's certain things. Even if I said them, I don't, sometimes I don't remember them. That bitch is the only one that has ever seen my fucking asshole. Literally my fucking asshole. Oh, yeah, I forgot you called oh. me a bitch. I forgot you called me a bitch there. I, mean, I don't believe that. It says, that, quote, you said it. I'm going to play it again. That bitch is the only one that's ever seen my fucking asshole. Literally, at my asshole. Oh, that's you saying that. Wrong. You said that to Ember. Are you denying that you said it? <laughs> You gotta record that. Said it, and evidently, I said it. I'm not gonna tell you I didn't. I didn't, I didn't remember saying it. Because I mean, it's one thing for you to call me and call me a bitch, and then leave voicemail where you're calling me a bitch, and other things, by the way. But for oh you to say God. it about me to other people is just like really crappy. I was stupid. I was well, stupid to say that shit. It's just the way that I was talking. That bitch is the only one that has ever seen my fucking asshole. Literally my fucking asshole. That bitch is the only one that has ever seen my fucking asshole. Literally my fucking asshole. Why are you keeping on playing it? So now you know how Ember knew that I am the only one who's ever seen your, or who's seen your asshole. Because this bitch is the only one who's ever seen it. Sorry. Sorry I did that. I don't have any excuse for it other than I was stupid. Well, in and of itself, that's still an excuse because when you say that you're stupid, it kind of absolves you from having to take responsibility. Know, you didn't mean. have the mental capacity to know that what you were doing was wrong or to make a decision not to do something wrong. <laughs> not refusing to take a responsibility for it. I'm just saying, obviously, I mean, what do you want me to say? It wasn't stupid for me to say that? It was stupid. I was stupid. I didn't even say that. I'm taking responsibility for it. Very sorry that I said that. What are you doing? I'm very disturbed. You know, the... I don't understand why they're obsessed with me. I don't understand any of that. I never have. I don't even feel comfortable. doesn't make any sense to me. I think, like, I know Emma knows what she's doing on the computer. I already know how obsessed she is with me. But I know what she can, what she's smart on the computer. What do you think she sounds nice? She sounds nice when she wants to sound nice. The reason she likes spiders. She likes octopuses. They both have eight legs. It's weird. 
What does spiders have to do with? A big old spider tattoo on her leg. I told her, I said, that's fucking gross. I know she was on the phone with me one time. She went in and bought a fucking tarantula. I'm like, well, I, this is a fucking gross. She said, look, they're so cute. They're fucking ugly. Oh, uh, tarantula never did anything to me. But uh, I can't uh, say that I would want, want one crawling up my leg. The gross. What are you worried about getting exposed? Uh-huh. I said, what are you worried about getting exposed? My videos, my phone calls. Would the videos that you've sent me get you in trouble? Um, I don't know. I've already been up front with my probation officer. Just that I don't, I don't need the videos of me in the shower. I don't need videos online. Those for your eyes only. For the rest of the freaking world. Yeah, I know. But you, I mean, you don't. Do you have a condition on your um, release or whatever they call it, like to not make nude videos? Yeah, that's an. That's some explicit, explicit images for electronic device. All right, hold on a second. Let me text him. All right, this is like the latest I've ever messaged him. TJ, is your, your brother in Florida? Yes. Yeah, hour behind. Yes, he is. Florida? Yep. Yeah. So they're in the same time zone as we are. No, he's not. I've seen him. He must be in the panhandle. He is, yep. Florida has two time zones. You know, there's all the uh, Eastern Ghost and Don. Hmm? I was thinking they were on Eastern Don. I thought the whole state was on Eastern Don. One state, two time zones. I like two girls, one cup. Two girls, one cup. What the hell does that mean? Two girls, one cup. <laughs> You know, you know what's so funny about that is they were saying in that class tonight. Uh, I'm, I'm fucking lost. Like, what the fuck does that mean? What did they say? I, I can't remember exactly what they said because I was thinking about Uncle Rich. But I heard, I heard two girls, uh, two girls, one cop. Like, whatever, I just blew it off. So my mind was full. What the hell that? What the hell does that mean? Two girls, one cop. Ask your counselor. No. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not going to ask your counselor? No. Why not? I don't want to. Do you want to know what it is? Well, if you want to tell me. I'm not going to go out looking for the meaning of it. All right. It's a film. Film. And it's, there's two women who, much like you in every video or picture you've ever taken, they're nude. It was a porn film. So one woman begins kissing another, and then one of them bends over to show that he's like, he's stuck and ready to go. <laughs> and? One girl turns around and presents a cup. And? The other girl puts the cup to her genital area. Oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> she put a whole cup in there. Keep going. And then the girl who has the cup up to her genital area squeezes a big, fat, juicy turd into the cup like a soft serve ice cream. Gross. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Holy Christ. <laughs> they both lick and eat it. Oh, gross. <laughs> and, then, and then they vomit the shit into each other's mouths. Oh, fucking nasty. <laughs> You watched that? And then, 
one of them like has like a hunk of turd like on <laughs> on her face, and then they French kiss the turd. They French oh kiss with their shit covered faces. They French kiss the shit back and forth. That is fucking gross. <laughs> When did you watch this? What um, the hell? And, You're um, watching pornos. Let's go to the porno. <laughs> who'd you who'd you watch the who'd you watch the porno with? <laughs> it was it wasn't so much porn as much as it was shit eating. And so like they threw up the shit and it, they threw it up on the floor and then they like mopped it into a bucket and they drank it. Oh, fucking gross. <laughs> that was, like, disgusting. Um, I, hope that, I hope that didn't give you any fucking freaky-ass ideas to try with me. Yes, Lauren, many ideas. <laughs> uh, I have a question for you. What are you, you going to say to Ember? Emma? Wow, your your timing's almost perfect because it looks like TJ just messaged me the number. What are you going to say to her? I'm going to tell you she's going to try to make herself look innocent. Hold on, let me think. What do I say to her? Um, I know she knows how she works, so I know she said that that she's going to fucking straighten out and all this shit, but I don't believe it for a minute. All right, let me think. I, I, I got to think of what I'm going to say. First look on her channel again. See if, see if there's anything there. Just you there. Hang on. <laughs> so you think I should call? Maybe I should call her. You think you should call her? I'm thinking. All right, you know what? I'm going to call her. It's three way, and I'm, I'm just going to say anything. I'm gonna call. Fucking you know what, Lauren? You know what? I don't. I don't even care if she does record, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because I mean, it, this talk it can't be worse than anything else that she might have. All right. Who's this? Hello, Amber. Lauren, are you there? I'm here. <laughs> 